Good morning, everybody. How's it going? Tony here, our cabin of woods. All right. I've always been wanting to make this video, and I know I talk about this a lot sometimes during a video. And um, what I want to talk about is when we built this home, I um, I had plans. I knew what I wanted. Um, I knew what I wanted to do with my property. Um, that's why we left our other property. And um, what I'm getting at is is this property was bare it was all it was just like this all woods all right that's what it was where i'm going now is i had to have a water well put in everybody does right okay what i'm going to tell you is is that water well is different um it's 220 feet deep i wanted it deeper to make sure i had plenty of water okay um the um water pump Everybody, everybody that builds houses and whatever, they always try. I mean, you always try to save money everywhere you can. <clears throat> and, um, I mean, building a home is expensive. I get it. I understand it. But there are some things that you want to do right the first time. Because it's a lot cheaper than having to redo it again. Yes, so this is why I'm talking about water and electric. Um, we always knew we were gonna have the animals. I always knew that I needed to have water. I was not gonna carry buckets of water. I didn't want a garden hose that put garden hose after garden hose traveling 400 feet, whatever it may be. Um, actually, and this what I'm talking about is 520 feet, and I'll show you where it goes. Is where my water is, where it ends up at, and I have good pressure. Um, but the, because that that good pressure I planned, I made it that way. Um, the guy that sunk my well, I told him what I wanted to do, and he just told me, oh, all you need is like a three-quarter horse, half horse, and that'd be good enough for your home. I didn't want that. This is when we first met. I told him what I wanted to do, and he thought I was going overkill. Well, you got to remember something. Contractors and builders, you got to tell them what you want, because they're going to do what they want. Um, to them, it's cheaper. Um... And that's just it. You really have to for tell them what you want. You're paying for it. So, no, I want it. I cannot remember. Either it's a horse and a quarter or horse and a half is what I have for a water well pump. Um, I have My well is made to handle that water. I can run wide open my sprinkle systems all day long, one section, and I don't have a problem with water. We have excellent water here. Um, so, what, uh, what I'm trying to say is, get a bigger pump so you, you're you going to help your infrastructure. You're going to help yourself in the long run. All right, let me show you what I've got going on. All right, coming out of this here, I wanted one-inch pipe. He told me you can get away with three-quarter. I said, I want one-inch pipe. That's all one-inch pipe, every bit of it. That one, that one, that one. First three on the left, let me turn this around so I'm pointing at them, can't see sun, is all sprinkler system. Okay. My pump puts out the ground at 110 pounds of pressure. 110 pounds out of the ground. Okay. We have this coming up here. All right. It goes all the way down to the house. The house has a restrictor and it's down to 90 pounds. Okay. To the house. Okay, my house, I had everything inside is set for high pressure. All of it. So now, my main line that feeds the house, of course, is underground. Okay, because underground, it's one inch. It goes all the way down this way. All the way down to that second hydrant where that yellow chicken is. All right. At that second hydrant... I'm going to talk here. My wife's still sleeping. It's early in the morning. Um, the house line goes under concrete, goes into the house. Okay. In this area here, I'm just going to circle a big area, is where all my Y connections made for my sprinkler system. And then to the gardens, I mean to the animals. And I'm just going to point here. I'm going to go this way. Now I'm going to go walk it. I'm going to be quiet. If I don't, the dogs will hear me and they start barking. So, 
one inch line goes all the way through here. When it continues through here, it goes right this way. This is a long walk, guys. It comes all the way up this way. And somewhere in this area, my one inch line stopped. Okay? From here, remember, I just came from way over here, all the way over. My one inch line stopped here. From here, I downsized to, no, I'm wrong. One inch line went all the way up here. That's right. It went up to right around right here. Okay, from here, I teed and went to three quarters. So you're downsizing as you travel. So three quarter line went from here, all the way over to that water hydrant. three-quarter inch line feeds this water hydrant. You can see it's all three-quarter inch line. Even the black pipe that goes under the ground is three-quarter inch line. I got all my valves. That goes my garden hose. I have an extra fitting if I ever need it. That feeds the goats and the pigs and the chickens. And that, of course, feeds what I've got going on here. Now, from this line, it's still three-quarter. It goes all the way over. And we're going to end up downsizing up here. It goes underground. And somewhere in this area, it downsizes. It changed wherever my... That's half inch, so it's right about right here. It downsizes the half inch pipe. All right. So we get half inch, we have a T. The T will go from here. It feeds them. They have fresh water. That's the goats and chickens. It goes from here over to this water spigot right here there we go they have their own water i can completely oh my hose is loose uh, all right we'll do this i water down their mud baths to them i give them little showers okay All right, let's turn this off for a minute. Ugh. Now, this valve only controls the garden hose. Yeah, it's loose. All right. What you doing, babe? Huh? What are you doing, Sophie? So, they have fresh water right here. From here, it tees off, and I just did my video. It's still, now it's half inch. We're going underground over to SIGs. Here's Sig's homestead. Is his water. He has the same setup. Everything about it's the same. Turn that on. I do the same thing. I can come over here. Look, this water is shooting 20 feet. And this is a junky garden hose nozzle. I can fill up there his bucket back here. He has his water nippler right there. And he's happy. So, what I'm getting at, guys, is plan your water, plan your electric. I've already, I have measured this from his area all the way where I walked around, zigzag property, went back up. It's 500, it's actually 517 feet is what it boils down to. I have good, excellent water pressure over here. Another thing I did, electrical. <coughs> the goats has electric. This is GFI circuit. We'll backtrack. 
electric goes from here underground it goes over to this coop which has a wall outlet in it which there is one there and this is where my cord goes and plugs into here GFI but that also has a wall outlet in it too all right and it comes on down now guys if you ever make any splices wiring you must have a box available so if you have a failure in electrical so you can find it and, and, and find out what's going on you know um, you just have by law you got to have a box to where all your connections are at in your house and outside this box here because the water right there see it right there that's where it splices in from the house and continues around a corner I had to have a splice I didn't I couldn't run enough wire to the home so you have to splice it and that's where the splice is right there it's all GFI runs in the house this was all planned when I did the home and uh, whether you doing from scratch your new property or you're bought a home and you want to change it but plan what you're gonna do but I'm gonna tell you right now one day you have to change your water well one day you're gonna have to do it go bigger that's providing if you well can handle it you guys see what your static water pressure or water is on your in your on your well I can't remember I think my static end up being 75 feet I believe or 85 feet 75 feet somewhere around there yow horsefly just bit my leg a little stinker and um, so you gotta make sure your well can handle it but that's why I went 220 feet down to a good aquifer this whole area is in a big aquifer and I knew if it went down deeper we do really good and that's what I did um, I probably by going deeper and adding the proper water pump that I'm using out here probably cost me an extra eleven hundred dollars you know what if I was to make the change if I didn't do it and I made a change now I'd be spending a lot more money redoing pumps all over again so um, the choice is to do it as you build if you're building new get it right the first time and have the right proper hose lines everything because I guarantee I can go another I don't know the hundred feet and still have excellent water pressure down there that's crazy but that's just the way it works all right guys I hope that me talking to you about your water lines um, you know electrical for your animals another thing that extra line I have right there I'm already toying about this winter running that another black pipe underground around the corner and there's my trellis garden and my where my pumpkins are and so I don't have to have this garden hose on top so that's probably one of my other things I'll be doing and that will probably be three quarter drop down this way all the way across and then put the two water valves at half at half um, half half inch pipe so all right guys there you go that's what I've done here and it works so you all have a great day I hope I described it right I hope I said the right things but you all have a great day and we'll catch you on the next video thanks again